Be free, my child! Hey, what's up, Reefers? Uh, crazy day today. This morning, Fantastic, my local fish store, sent out an email saying all livestock 50% off. Now, Fantastic already have really affordable livestock. We're talking about like $22 pearly jawfish. We're talking about like $20 cleaner shrimps. We're talking about snails that's like two bucks a pop. Uh, so on top of that, they're giving away 50% off today only. So we're heading over there today during lunchtime and do some impulse buying. See you guys there. All right, guys, check this out. I'm actually... Hey, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Look at this. It's like tiny, tiny tuxedo urchin. It's perfect. I've been looking for something like this. This is probably like a thumbnail size. This is perfect. I've never seen one this small. Uh, so definitely gonna pick this guy up. And also in this tank, I see two cleaner shrimps. And these cleaner shrimps are normally $22 um, 50% off today. So half price, probably gonna pick both of these up. I know in the past I kind of swore off shrimps saying that they steal coral fruit and stuff like that. But hey, uh, I missed the action um, or the interaction or the food stealing. Let's try them again. And I do have three tanks to shuffle them through. So if this is more guy in a 45 gallon tank, hey, they can go into a 20 gallon mango tank. Oh man, look at this guy. 120 bucks, 50% off. Assuming it works for this one as well as 60. That's crazy. Oh, look at that. Purple long tentacle. I hope you don't mind me. Oh, no. <laughs> That's Paul right there. This is a really nice Australia, uh, Australian elegance coral. Normally 120, but 50% off to 60. This is very, very tempting, but I simply do not have space for it. I was like, oh, bag it up. But then <laughs> as he's walking close, I was like, ah, oh, I really can't well, change my mind. So I, uh, I petered out. But look at this, for 60 bucks, are you kidding? Look at all these different frags. Um, another thing I'm kind of peeking at is actually, let's see, that one. That looks pretty cool. It looks really bright, really interesting. It looks like just a camp, but it's really bright. You can wonder what type it is. That is kind of nice too. Interesting. Look at these guys right here, little buttons. Really, really bright. Yeah, that e can actually looks really good right here. Um, so 50% off third. I think I'll go for it. Tot totally worth it. Uh, although it looks doesn't look too poofy, so with some TLC, I think it will bounce right back. Um, this guy looks really bright as well. But I think I'm leaning more towards the e can simply because I have the room for it. It's a little bit too large. Also, some reason I did not go for the elegance, uh, even though it looks really beautiful. Just gonna have the room. That guy's nice too, right? Man, this is so much stuff. Fellas, we made out like a freaking bandit. Look at this. Look at these. Wait, that's not all. That's only half of it. We got more right here. All right, guys, made it home. Let's go through real quick what I got today. First, we got snails. In fact, we got a bunch of snails and hermit crabs. I think I picked up eight trochus snails and then probably six scarlet hermit crabs. Um, now, trochus snail is my favorite snails. I feel like they're super versatile and really quick and do a good job. Scarlet Hermits is probably the only type of hermits that I really recommend for a reef tank. They seem to be reef safe and don't really go after snails. And I do like the diversity of having crabs and snails. Sometimes people say that you gotta go with all crabs or all snails, but uh, this mix has been working out well for me. And this will be split between the 45 gallon tank, 20 gallon tank, and 10 gallon tank. And eventually move into the 150 as well. Next up, we got some red macro algae. I've never seen this type before. So I asked for a small frag of it, and here it is. This is the really, really bright micro musa that we saw under the blue over there. I'm gonna find a spot for it in the 45 gallon tank, and hopefully it'll do well in the tank. Following that, we got shrimps. Uh, first up, we got one peppermint shrimp. This is actually for Joseph. Joseph saw the fantastic ads, and then he was like, oh, you're going there, aren't you? If you are, can you see if they're peppermint shrimp? So right before I got a message, another local reefer came in and just kind of like bought out almost the entire tank but they missed one. So here's one for Joseph, peppermint shrimp. One of the main critters that I was going for today are these cleaner shrimps. They had two and I had to pick both of them up. I have a love-hate relationship with cleaner shrimps. I hate the fact that they steal food from corals when I'm feeding them. However, they do do a fantastic job cleaning up uneaten food and keeping parasites off fish. And they're of course really fun to watch, especially in pair. So here are two cleaner shrimps that will be going into the 45 gallon tank. And finally, we have a really, really cute tuxedo urchin. Look at how small this guy is. If you've been following my channel, you know that I've been trying to find a small one for quite a while. So here it is. I've never seen them this small. Look at this, pretty much thumbnail size. And what's more, they have two. So I pick up both of them. This one is a little bit different because this one is red. 
while the other one is more the standard color with kind of like gray spines. The red one is slightly larger, but still really, really small. So these guys just mold down algae and in, this includes Carolina algae. So my plan is to have the larger one in the display tank and the smaller one in the refugium. I'm gonna test out to see if they actually eat the macro algae. I have the grape algae in the refugium. It'd be nice if they help keep things trimmed. I kind of doubt it, but we'll try it out first. If it does not work out, most likely I'll move one of these into the mangrove tank as well. All right, baby's crying, time to feed the baby. Talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's up reefers? Very happy day because, um, actually very embarrassing day as well. Because as you know, I really like to feed my reef tank with reef nutrition products. Half of these stuff I want in a raffle at my reef club. I've used it, I loved it, so I reached out to the company asking, hey, do you guys do any sponsorship? Do you want to do any collaboration? Shameless. <laughs> shameless, shameless <laughs> plug. Yes, I reach out. I don't normally reach out, but this company just such, have such a great reputation, they have great products, so I have no problem reaching out. I did, and Chad said that, yo, you know what, I'll be happy to send you some stuff to try, just give you honest feedback. Ever since then, I've been a big fan, a bigger fan of reef nutrition products. Man, I sound like a soul seller. <laughs> such a seller. You're a shameless seller. Show a seller. But honestly, no, no, no. Seriously, just look online for their reputation. Everybody loves reef nutrition products. It's like two thumbs up. So here's a funny story. Maybe half a year ago, I was running out of phytos. So I reached out to Chad, I'm like, hey Chad, man, I'm running out of phytos. Uh, could I get um, a, a bottle from you? He's like, yeah, man. So I've used this bottle for half a year. And this is all I, I've been through. And it just expired. It expired by September 26, uh, 2019. I was gonna keep using it and chances are I can probably still use it because it's refrigerated. I use it so often, I stir it, right? So I've been using it ever since then. And even though it expired, it still smells fine. I mean, as long as it smells like grass, I believe it is okay. But if it starts stinking, that's when you wanna throw it out. But this got me thinking, how about all these other stuff that I've been dosing? Uh, so I know Chad refilled me once. The other stuff, I was like, wait a minute, I think I won this during the Wild Mass Reef Club raffle, which is a long time ago, <laughs> but I've been using it. You so, mean those that I won? Yes, those that I won. <laughs> These are the ones that Chad sent me last round, okay? Uh, and those, again, this was like half a year ago. I'm gonna use this little bit. So even though the bottle looks small, it lasted me a long, long time. So let's look at expiration date. So this one is Best Buy January 20th, 2019. This is more than half a year expired. This one is Best Buy February 03, 2019. So I'm not lying. These actually lasted me a long time and you've seen how heavily I feed these guys. Now here's the fun part. So these two bottles, let's take a look here. This is Best Buy April 22nd, 2018. And this is Best Buy May 10th. 2019. So this is not this bad, that bad, but this one right here is that best by April 22nd, 2018. It's not that bad. Tell them your story. Oh shit. Um, I'm not sure when you're watching. And they're right instant now. noodles. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them. Right, so, so quick tangent. Quick tangent. Give me like 10 seconds. So basically, we're cleaning out our closet and we're just digging around. Right. Right now, it's year 2019. I dug up a pack of instant noodles. I was like, oh, okay, this is kind of cool. I haven't seen this in a while. And we flip over and see when the Best Buy date was. 2011. And it's instant noodle that expired in 2011. So that Eight tells years you ago. how long this has been sitting. No, it expired 2018, but instant noodle doesn't expire that, that soon. So it's probably at least like plus two, three years. So that kind of shows you what kind of household we live in. No, what 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 happened to the instant noodle? Yes. So when <laughs> Emily's mom was visiting from Hong Kong, she, out of all the instant noodle that I got, she picked that one to open. And she took two bites and threw it away because she said that it tastes weird. And she told me the next morning, I was like, which one did you open? She's like, I'm like, yeah. I was keeping, <laughs> that was my time capsule and you ate it and you took two bites and you threw it away. Thank you. So my point is that everything here is pretty much expired. Uh, my own faults. Bless you, Chad, for sending me all these goodies. Let me just show you what I got. Another bottle of Fido. Uh, this one expires March of 25th, 2020. So this is fresh off the fresh off the press and i mentioned that i really like the oyster feast i really like the roe these are really small particles so a lot of corals and invert can eat this uh oh he doesn't agree you want some no wash your hand and the last thing i got is the mice shrimp i really like the pe mice uh, no 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 don't 
touch. Bad. Wash your hands. Okay, these are the stuff that I requested, but he also sent me something extra. So these, these right here are what Chad sent me. These I've always seen at the trade show, but I never really asked for it. But I guess this time Chad believes that it's time for me to try some of their um, famous copa pots. So we got isopot, we got amphi pots, we got copa pots. Copa pots are the smallest little um, shrimp-like inverts that lives in a tank. And a lot of corals eat them, a lot of fish eat them, and ideally I can establish some sort of colony inside the system. Okay, so check this out. So we got two types. The more exciting one I'll say is these ticker pod right here. Look at this. Oh. See how they bounce around? I guess that's why it's called a ticker pod. So in new Reef Nutrition brand, um, these are considered the large copy pods. These are larger ones. My plan is to maybe like dose one bottle into the 45 gallon refugium and then dose the second half of the second bottle into the 10 gallon budget nano tank and the 20 gallon mangrove tank. I don't think you guys know about the mangrove tank yet, so uh, pretend you did not hear that. So the second type of pods that Chet sent me is called the Apex pods. These are what's considered the medium size copa pods in a reef nutrition sense. I'm not sure if you guys get that. They're not as active as a ticker pod, but you, can, you do see them moving around in the water column as well. So I thought it's kind of cool. All right, so I'm really excited to try this out. I mean, I'm a big fan of diversity in terms of food for corals and fish. Um, you like that? No. You like this? No, when you mention diversity. <laughs> diversity is important. We're in the USA. Diversity is what we thrive for. <laughs> I feel like the copy pods and stuff like that is something that you cannot really measure and cannot really um, see the effect right away. But I do believe that they do make a difference. Uh, so once again, thank you so much, uh, Chad from Rift Nutrition for hooking up all these stuff. Uh, and especially, of course, and these guys, uh, my favorite right here, these are tried and true. Um, I have no issue recommending them at all. Now, to be honest, they do get a little pricey, um, but I would highly recommend if you have to pick the Fido Feast and the Oyster Feast. I think these two are super, super versatile and super, super beneficial to all your corals. The pots and stuff, I'll, tra I'll try out. I feel like if you have the money to spend, hey, why not? Especially with uh, our year Mises uh, Feast as well. I am tired. I think the coffee is running out. If we hit a thousand lights, he will taste it in person. <laughs> Yay! If we do get a it, thousand do like, it, which do is not it, gonna do happen, it, I would bring some phytoplankton. It. Why don't we release some of these uh, little ticker pots into the 45 gallon tank, as well as some of these apex pots. So I have a really, really beefy refugium. Um, so I think the pots will do really well here, but my question is, would the pot be able to move from here into the main display tank where the fish and coral is really gonna benefit? I'm gonna do like maybe three fourths of the bottle in the refugium and then I'll do the rest in the display tank. So I've been told the lighting down here is really similar to the red light districts in maybe like Europe or something like that. <laughs> Amsterdam. <laughs> Amsterdam, okay, I don't know how she knows. Be free, my child. Be free. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good. Oh, I can see them. Okay, the rest, the rest. I'm waiting for the, all right, there we go. It's time. And we'll rinse it to make sure no pot is left behind. Next, we'll release the ticker pod. You see them? You see them dancing around? Let's go. Be free, my child. And then we still got a really, oh man, there's a lot in here. All right, it's okay, it's going in. Ready? This is gonna be a lot. This is actually really dense. Emily, stop grabbing my butt, please. <laughs> Oh, shh. you see all those? Not me. No. Oh, 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 I think it's a lot. Let me just add the rest here. This is cool. Can I just rinse it? Oh, no, I see them. So I'm gonna repeat the process with the 10 gallon budget nano tank as well as the 20 gallon mango, I mean, 10 gallon budget tank. I can't really tell you the result because I did error is not. I can't really show you. But again, I think like diversity is great because we had the USA. <laughs> Lamb. Yeah. Subtitle. <laughs> What's lamb in English? <laughs> All right. See you guys. And thanks again, Reef Nutrition. <laughs> thanks again, Chad. That was... All right. <laughs>